Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we're diving into the world of marketing automation by showing you how to install and set up Modic on CyberPanel. Whether you're a business owner or a marketing professional, Modic can be a game changer for automating your marketing processes. So, let's get started. Choosing a hosting provider for your mail server and Modic installation. In this tutorial, I will use Contabo. Contabo is known for providing affordable hosting solutions. If you are on a budget, Contabo's pricing may be attractive for your mail server and Modic installation needs. Port 25 is not blocked on Contabo. It means that you should be able to use this port for email-related activity, particularly for SMTP Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, which is commonly used for sending emails. Contabo provides an intuitive control panel and easy setup process, making it user-friendly for those who may not be experienced server administrators. This can be advantageous when setting up and managing a mail server in Modic. Before we begin, make sure you have a server with CyberPanel installed. You'll also need SSH access to your server and a domain name pointed to your server's IP address. If you haven't set up CyberPanel yet, check out our previous video linked in the description. Start by updating your system. After the installation of CyberPanel, you need to access it by logging in with your credentials. I will access it from my Windows machine. To install Modic, you must create a website. To add a new website on your CyberPanel, navigate to the Websites section. Select a package, just select the default. Then select the owner that should be an admin account. Then enter an email address. You need to select PHP 8.0 that is the one supported by Modic as of 2023. Ensure to choose SSL, enable DKIM support, and set the mail domain, as all of these are essential for maintaining a spam-free SMTP server. Let us now install Modic on the new website we have just created. Scroll to the bottom of the page. You will see a Modic logo. Click on it to install Modic. Enter a username and password. That will be your admin account for Modic. Also, enter an email address. Once the installation process for Modic is complete, open a browser and enter the address of the website you created in CyberPanel. Welcome to the Modic dashboard. Your next step is to link Modic to your SMTP server. Simply click on the Settings button located at the top right corner of the screen.
If you already have an email server or you subscribe to a third-party email provider, and your host which is your mail server address, on the port add port 587 or port number your service provider uses, add the other details as well. After configuring your email settings, click the test button. If you receive a success message, your setup is complete. If you don't have an email server or not subscribed to any third-party email provider, you can set up your own email server on Monic. Let me show you how you can set up one. Don't forget to add the DNS of your domain provider. I'm using Namecheap and these are the standard name servers for Namecheap. Click on Create Email. Create an email account. You will use this email account when connecting Modic to the email server. If you followed all the steps in this video, the email server was created automatically. These are the details you can use if you want to configure mail clients. You should also issue an SSL certificate to the mail server otherwise you won't be able to send or receive emails. There are more mail settings in this section that you can configure like email policies, email limits and you can also enable spam assassin and mail scanner. Improving email deliverability is crucial for ensuring that your emails reach the intended recipients' inboxes and aren't marked as spam. Add these records to your DNS. If you use Cloudflare, you can connect it to CyberPanel and then add these records. By implementing these best practices, you can significantly enhance your email deliverability and maintain a positive sender reputation. I have already added the records to my Namecheap DNS records.
For the default domain key you have to copy the value to a text editor, and then remove the quotes and spaces. Let us now test our spam score. Open this website and send an email to the email address provided then come back and check your score. If you have set up your record you can access Modic using your domain name instead of the IP address. The email has been sent this also means our email server is working just fine. We are able to send and receive emails. Perfect we have gotten a score of 10 over 10. Let us now configure our modic using the email server we just created on CyberPanel. The test is a success. To establish an email list, begin by creating a segment. To accomplish this, navigate to the Segments option in the left menu. Enter some details to create the segment, like list name alias and description. It's time to add emails to this list. Navigate to the Contacts section to import email lists.
Now that your email list is prepared, proceed to the channels section in the left menu and select email to create a bulk campaign. You can select Start from Scratch Creating a Newsletter or you can select a template. You can edit the template, add a logo and so on. Give the template a subject. Select a segment of emails you want to send the newsletter to and then save the template. This is from where you can now send your newsletters or bulk emails when you are done with your templates. The final step in the process is setting up a cron job, which will execute and send emails. This is the last and crucial element for scheduled mail campaigns. This is the official page that explains the cron jobs you need to add and you can watch the video in the description how we added cron jobs when we installed Modic on a Linux server. And there you have it, a step-by-step -step guide on installing and setting up Modic on CyberPanel. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more tutorials, and hit that notification bell to stay updated. If you encounter any issues or have questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.